Hello and welcome back to What Jack Has Made. This is the first video in what must have been months since my last one. Uh, I've just been getting settled lately. I've had my new job. I've had I've moved house. Um, but yeah, I've just been adjusting and trying to find time to do what I enjoy. And unfortunately, YouTube kind of took sort of like the back seat for a while. But I am going to be making videos again, and my new website is now live, so I can post all of my new videos straight to there. So yeah, if you want to check out some of the stuff that I've been up to when I haven't been making YouTube videos, then go check out my website and you can see what I've been up to. But with that out of the way, let's talk about today's video. Today's video is going to be on a unit that you may not know about, and it is the CH unit. Now. As you can see in my document, I've got basic CSS, I've got basic div container with a h1 and p tags, and this is what the website looks like at the moment. So, big lines of text, a simple header, simple paragraphs. But I did some research on readability and legibility of fonts, and I came across articles which stated that the ideal character length for any sentence or you know header for that matter is somewhere between 50 to 60 characters with the maximum you want to be hitting around 75 and I thought yeah that's that's really good and there were techniques on how to measure your character size so you could put like a star in between characters and then measure how many characters in that is but it was pretty tedious and I thought there must be a better way and I came across this unit called the CH unit, which I'm going to show you how it's used today. So we have the container for these H1 and P tags, and I have the container class CSS rule here, and I'll put a max width of, let's say, 60 CH. Now what this will do when I refresh is it will compress it to what it believes 60 characters is based on the values from that font. So if I open up a character letter word counter and copy the first line and we put it into the counter, you can see that there are 80 characters and 68 without spaces, 12 words and one paragraph. But that makes no sense because we put 60 characters in. And I did a bit more research into it, and it turns out that CH isn't actually every single character. It tries to base it on the number zero and tries to calculate how big it will be, but it's not always accurate. So it's a good unit, but it's not fully supported. It's, it, it's a bit sort of like it's almost there, but it's not quite there. So what I tend to do is I tend to put, I aim for about 10 or 20 less than the amount of characters I want. And then if we refresh again and copy the top line. And paste it in. You can see there's 65 characters now and 55 about spaces. And that's a lot more ideal for having it more readable. readable. And uh, it just looks, you can digest it much better. Um, it's great if you want to make sure your website, especially for blogs or anything where you've got long descriptions, if you want to break up the content a bit more, then I suggest using something like this where it'll sort of shrink the character length. It's not perfect, as you've seen. I don't, I'm not completely sure why it's not completely supported. Um, there are some links I'll leave in the description uh, for CSS tricks where they do an article about it and the Mozilla Developer Network have some good resources in relation to it. But I tend to use it as a sort of, you know, it's not gonna be precise, but it gives you sort of leeway on how long the text is gonna be, and you don't have to go out and measure it every time. And it doesn't have to be used for a container, that's one example. You can use it for just paragraphs, or you could use it for just headings. And yeah, it's a great way of making sure that you don't have to go out and measure every single character. Now the reason why it is good for readability is when you're reading a long paragraph, if the text is like 300 characters long or something ridiculous like that, you have to go back and forth several times across the page and you get 
tired before you reach the end of it. But if you have the paragraph too small, say 20 characters long, which is like four words, then you're going to be going left and right so many times so quickly that it's just going to be too much. So this is around the ideal length that they found from doing tests on people and how readable text is. So kind of in a way it's sort of UX, but you know, anything design is UX these days. But it's about increasing the user's satisfaction with your website, making sure your content's readable, as a lot of text isn't read these days on the internet. And it's great for helping people skim through content and being able to pick up on the information that they need. So yeah, that's the CH unit. It's not perfect, but it's a CSS unit that I didn't know about when I first started out. And I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys and let you see what you can do with it. So yeah, really short video, but I'm going to be coming out with some pretty cool videos in the future. So I'd stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.